Old School RuneScape Leagues is a seasonal game mode focused around general account progression. This is the fourth league and it's called Trailblazer. Well the second league was also called Trailblazer, but this one is Trailblazer 2. But instead of saying 2 they say Reloaded, so instead of Leagues 4 Trailblazer 2 it's actually Leagues 4 Trailblazer Reloaded. Anyways, the point is, don't take shots whenever you hear a YouTuber say Leagues, Trailblazer, or Task. For this league, everyone starts as a fresh Iron Man account, which means no trading allowed. You have to earn everything from scratch. The main concept is that you'll be restricted to only certain regions of the game. Everyone starts out with access to only Mistalin and Karamja. There's a massive list of tasks for each region, and you earn League points for completing each task. Once you complete enough tasks, you'll be able to unlock new areas. However, by the end, you'll only be able to have unlocked three additional areas out of the eight options, and once you pick your areas, you can't undo it. To balance out these restrictions, there's relics, which give powerful boosts. There's eight tiers of relic options, which you unlock by reaching league point milestones. But just like with picking areas, when you pick your relic choices, those also can't be undone. There's also passive effects, some of which build up throughout the league, but we don't need to get into all the specifics now, I'll just explore and learn about everything as I go. Because I'm recording this intro a few days in advance before the league, I don't even have the full info about everything anyways, which is great, because if we were told everything in advance, then people would spend months theorycrafting the most efficient routes and calculating all the points per hour and trying to min-max the game mode. One of the rewards from the League is the League Points, which transfer over to the main servers once the League ends, and you could spend the points on cosmetic type stuff. Another reward is the Trophies. The Trophy tier that you earn is based on how many League Points you end up with. In the past, your percentile determined your rank, but for the first time, it's going to be based on static point thresholds. And and my main goal for this league is to earn enough points to reach the Dragon tier. I've gotten the Dragon Cup in all the previous leagues, so hopefully I can do it once again in Leagues 4. But honestly, I think the real reward is the friends we make along the way, and maybe the enemies too. It may sound lame at first when you hear it's a repeat of the last Trailblazer, but it's been three years since that league, and the game has changed a lot in three years. Not to mention the relics are different, which that alone makes it a completely different adventure. I'm super excited for the league to start so I can jump in and start exploring and having fun. So with that said, I'll see you back in a few days when the league starts. Or for you, that'll be a few seconds. Good morning gamers, it's happening, we're logging in. The first task is completed, open the league's menu. The league's already been out for about four hours because as a West Coast player, it came out at 4 a.m. for me, but I still woke up before 8 a.m. So that's, that's pretty impressive for me, I'll say that. I really don't care though, I'm not trying to rush through so I can have an all caps YouTube title that says rank one first day trailblazer. I personally find enjoyment out of just taking my time and enjoying the journey. It is time to pick the first relic. I'm sure most of you know by now what each of these do, but in case you don't, or just for general information about the league, I will link the wiki page for Trailblazer in the description, but I'm going to be choosing Production Prodigy. This relic lets you process all your items at once when you're doing processing skills, so for smithing, fletching, herb lore, cooking, crafting, and there's a 25% chance that you make an extra product when you're doing those skills, you get the extra XP for it, they're auto sent to your bank, and you have a permanent plus 12 boost to those skills. So I'm going to go and select that, and we'll get another cool animation here, and the tutorial is over. And that was a leak task as well. I feel like this is the most standard thing to do, but I really want to do it. I'm going to pickpocket a man and that is a leak task. I'm going to keep going until I get 28 coin pouches because that is also a leak task. Oh, f wait, hold on. First level up was also a leak task. Okay, I, I should stop saying leagues and stop saying task because it's going to get very repetitive. First level five skill. Okay, I got the 28 coin pouches. I'll open that. That is a league or that is a, a thing. And we got a little bit of starting cash. Now I'm going to talk to Duke Horacio to start Rune Mysteries. That's because he gives an air talisman, so if we go downstairs and locate with it, it's 10 points. With each area you unlock, including the starting areas, there are certain quests that are auto-completed. And one of those is Lost City, which means you can just claim a Draymond staff for free. Uh, I'm going to take the GP out the bank, and then put a bunch of this stuff in here, and we'll get moving. Yes! First log. Sit. Look at that guy just standing there. Hey man, you're wasting time. You're supposed to be rushing to make an all caps YouTube title. Let's burn these logs. This is 
Gonna take some time. Nice. Achieve your first level 10 is complete. And I wanna go for level 15 so that way I can thieve ham members. My gosh, it's like all the YouTubers are logging to this world. I'm, I'm just starstruck right now. Let's see, I'm gonna have to risk it for the biscuit. Actually, I kind of want to die on purpose so I can reset my health. No, I'm at 15. I'm just going to go till I die. Okay. Farewell and hello. Oh, that's a cool death animation. You're like burning. Oh, you don't end up in death. I thought I would end up there. Check the grave and it's free to claim this stuff back. I'm going to claim the Iron Man armor because we have unlimited run, so may as well. The weight doesn't matter. I'm going to drop the air and mine runes and then I'll be able to claim more from the Magic Tutor. I just realized I already started with a Draymond staff, so I didn't actually need to claim it. It's early for me, okay. Dance in the Lumberage Graveyard and enter Death's Domain. 10 more points. I have fished my first shrimp. And then cook- oh, I forgot it does them all at once. That's funny. So there was cook a shrimp, cook five pieces of food, and then burn some food. And that just worked out perfectly because I just burnt one out of all those. If you get a bunch of levels at once, then you get multiple of the messages, which it looks like is dependent on how many successful of the action that you do. I just end up cooking five and I got five messages. I have not done this random event for so long because I've just had the collection log slots done in the main game for so long. This is gonna be fun. Day one, trying to mine tin and copper. There's gonna be a lot of competition. Okay, there we go. I just had to mine one. There's also one to mine 10 tin. Maybe I could find an open rock. Maybe I'll just do it later by Varrock. Oh, that kind of rhymed. I just rhymed rock with Varrock. Something, something, Derrock. I'm gonna enter the shed without having the Draymon staff equipped so I can take the tools out of here. I wanna grab the rake and the spade, put the staff on, and then go back in and I'll be teleported to Xanaris which, uh, let's see, there's use a fairy ring and enter Xanaris. Oh, wait, I'm gonna, come on, come on, please. If I could have anything in this life, please give me this rock. Please, please, no! <laughs> I wanna get, I wanna get one tin though, because I need to smelt a bronze bar. Okay, perfect. Wait, from that drill sergeant random event, I didn't get an item. I thought I was supposed to get something. I didn't get anything though, that's weird. Let's smelt the first bronze bar on the account. And because I have the production prodigy, I am just auto boosted up to 13. It's just that when I'm level three smithing, for example, I'll be able to smelt iron. Okay, the general store, I'm gonna buy shears and a box trap. And, oh yeah, I got, wait, did I pick up these bones when I died? Oh, well, I'm gonna bury the bones. And there is bury some bones. Oh wait, no, I just checked the clips. I got those bones just randomly clicking on a tile and there happened to be bones there. Oh, let's see what pets I have. I know I have the bandos pet. Oh, wait, I know I have this many pets. I thought I thought it was just like Bandos and Choppy Chick. I have the Jad pet? Whoa. Um, I'm gonna take out Grardor though. Yeah, pets are the only thing that carry over from league to league. And I just checked the wiki. You get the crystal memories when you unlock the tier three relics, which I probably should have said before, the next relic is gonna be at 500 league points. So I'm 290 points away from that. I'm gonna show a trick to save just a little bit of time. If we enter Xanaris, we can go to the fairy ring. Because fairy tale part two is auto completed, that means that we can use the fairy rings to get around the map, which probably could be pretty useful early on when we don't have too many teleports unlocked. So heading over to the wizard's tower, I just want to get into the next step of rune mysteries. And from here, I am going to home teleport because home teleporting is 10 points. I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna be able to share sheep because there's Gonna be a lot of competition, or maybe not. Maybe I will be able to do this. Ah, I just fell for the classic blunder of attacking a ram instead of sharing a sheep. What a freaking moron. We've got spin a ball of wool. Oh, oh yeah, right. It made all of them at once, and I got, f oh, that's cool. It gives you a message. You make four extra balls of wool, and they get deposited into the bank. Since I got a rake, that means I can rake the farming patch, but if you didn't have one, you could just buy it from these farmers that watch the patches. They all sell them if you talk to them. I just got total level 100. I've just been camping here while I've been editing some clips together, and I just got 15 woodcutting along with 15 fire making, which means I could do the oak thing. And there is burn some oak logs. I'm doing sheep share. He's asking for 20 balls of wool. There's certain quests like this one where if you just have the items already on you, you have a different dialogue. In a world filled with limitless possibility, there's an unlimited amount of possible combinations of events that could have occurred there and this just so happened to work out. While I'm here, I may as well collect the items I need for Cook's assistant. So we got the egg. And while I'm grabbing this wheat, there's a task to cry in a wheat field. This is so Midwest emo. <laughs> Let's collect the flower. I have made some flour. No way. 
it's my content and the lead task. By the way, if you're new to my channel, I want you to keep in mind that I do not repeat jokes and I've also never lied on the internet before, and gaslighting's not real, you're making it up for attention. No, but actually, if you're new here, I'm just warning you, or you probably could tell already, that I like my dry humor one-liners. And luckily for me, OSR's players are kind of the target demographic, since we're all kind of like dad age. Why well, yes, I would love to help the cook. I have all those ingredients on me already. <laughs> That's an odd coincidence. And cook's assistant is complete. With the quest done, that means I can use the cook's range to cook some food. Use the range in the Lumbridge Castle. And then grab this knife spawn that's in this corner. It's Draenor time, baby. Let's get the forestry kit, which is free. It used to cost money when it first came out. It was very little, but it's free now. And if I equip that, that is... Oh wait, I thought, this was, I thought it was a leak task. Well anyways, I'm gonna do some stuff in Draenor and then we'll head off to the Stronghold of Security, but since I was here to just buy wines, I may as well knock some other stuff out too while I'm here. I made some extra balls of wool when I was doing sheep share because there's a task to have Ned make you wool, or to make you rope. I'm gonna talk to Morgan, start Vampire Slayer, because later on it should give a nice little boost to the attack level. Let's insult Aggie, you mad old witch. The cool thing about shops and leagues is that they don't run out of stock, I don't think. Like if I buy these out, yeah, that's nice. And they only cost one GP each. And then from Olivia, I'm gonna buy four barley seeds because I'm gonna have to plant these. Now it's time for a little bit of rooftop agility. To do the drainer course, you have to have 10 agility, but they just made everyone start out with level 10 because otherwise it might be difficult to train agility without that. And then here's one lap of the drainer village course. I have to do 10 laps though for another task, so I'm just gonna do that while I edit. Oh, and that was two lead tasks. There's one just to do any rooftop course and then one for drainer specifically. Hopefully I can get to 30 agility by the time I'm done with the 10 laps because I need that for the Varat course. Or maybe if I'm close, I'll just finish that up. Is there a task for, yeah, there is for getting a market grace. Achieve your first level 20. Imagine picking the trickster relic for the passive agility XP when you have to do the 10 drainer laps anyways. I say as I'm about to keep on doing the drainer cores for 30 agility. Oh, I think that was the first medium task I've completed. That one gave 40 points instead of 10 points. And there is 30 agility, which is the first level 30, also a medium task. And it only took me about 21 laps to do. And now I am free. I can finally play the game. I'm gonna grab a task from the wise old man. We'll see what we get here. I've never actually done this before. Oh, you just need three bronze zeros? Dude, easy. <laughs> yes, we got a really easy item. Also a medium task, 40 more points, 10 points away from the next relic, which I was just thinking about this, I could just craft or fletch arrow shafts, and there we go. You gained enough points to unlock a tier 2 relic, check the relic's interface. We got two options here, there's Fairy's Flight, this gives you an item that allows you to instantly teleport to any fairy ring, spirit tree, or tool leprechaun that you have access to where the other one is Globetrotter. This gives you an item that allows you to teleport to all the teleports that you would normally have in a fully upgraded jewelry box, as well as these teleports from the Portal Nexus. I've spent some time thinking about this, and I want to go with Fairy's Flight, because with the teleports from Globetrotter, these are all normal teleports that, for the most part, you'll get access to eventually anyways, but with Fairy's Flight, this isn't in the actual game, you know? There's not a way to just teleport to any tool leprechaun. And I think I'll be happier to have this one later on. Oh right, and each time you get to a new relic tier, there's new passive effects from the tiers. And I probably should have waited <laughs> to do those drainer laps, I forgot about that. But the League Multiplier is going to go from 5x to 8x. So I'm going to go and select Fairy's Flight, and we're going to get an item, the Fairy Mushroom. You could wield it if you want to save an inventory spot. Yeah, I'll do that. Put this in the bank. Let's see what this interface looks like. So if I right click, we got fairy ring, spirit tree, or tool leprechauns. Oh, there's so many options in here. Okay, I'm gonna go to Drainer Manor. Yeah, dude, this thing's gonna be super useful early on. Okay, there's Enter Drainer Manor. I imagine though, after a few more relic tiers, when the account's a bit more progressed, probably won't be using this item too much then. I have to find where the chairs are in here. Now they're downstairs. Oh, okay. Get the chair to follow you. No way, I got my first pet. Oh, oh, they are in alphabetical order, so that's gonna help a bit. Need to go to the ham lair. I just need to pickpocket one ham. I probably should have brought food with me. But hopefully I can just get one without dying. Okay, there we go, got one. People with the trickster are just laughing at me. Oh no, I forgot there'd be competition for this tree. There's, it's like chop a potato tree. It's just a tree that's in a potato field. But there's a lot of people here, but luckily, 
there is another way to get this task done. But first, before I forget, let me kill a goblin. I'm gonna use a wind strike, get those magic levels up. Probably need to take off the Iron Man armor if I want to actually hit. Level five magic, killed the goblin, and I'm gonna save the bones. I just need them for feeding the stray dog. And I'm gonna pick two onions while I'm here because I'm gonna need those later on. Maybe a couple extra just to be safe if I eat one. Okay, this will be fun. Let's teleport to... Oh, yeah, the champion skill. Yeah, so I probably don't need to buy a chronicle because of this teleport right here. So instead of relying on that one regular tree and having competition, instead you can come to this potato field and chop the oak tree. I know 15 woodcutting is a pretty steep requirement. Chop a log from a potato tree. Dang, I forgot my rake in the bank. Well, luckily with the fairy mushroom, there might be a better teleport, but this is just the first one that came to mind for uh, a close bank teleport is just to the GE because it is right over here. Remember before I was saying that you could just buy stuff from farmers? I need to buy compost to watch over these barley seeds I'm gonna plant. Actually, I need a seed dipper too, I just realized. It's 35 GP for compost. That That's pretty steep, but by doing the stronghold, I'll make my GP back. Have to go through the dialogue a few times to get all this. We'll plant the barley seeds, and then I'll just pay the farmer three bucks of compost. That is a lead task to protect the crops. It is time for the stronghold. You can actually have a teleport straight there from count check, but it will only teleport you there once, which probably doesn't really matter once you get your second relic because it's so fast to get around the map anyways. But I want to show that. Oh wait, I, I can't, <laughs> I'm so used to running over here. I, I can't do that in this account. I have to go through. I like how you don't even have to actually answer the questions. If you just kind of click it a few times, it'll, <laughs> it'll just go through. Here we go, the toughest part. Easy literally free. Besides for just the 10k, you also get the boots, which is a league task to equip them. And then it's not a league task, but it's just a diary task to do the four modes you get. Cool, so I did a bunch of lumberage stuff, I did a bunch of drainer stuff, and now it is time to move on to Varak. One lap of the Varak rooftop course is both a task for the league and the diary. I'm gonna pet the stray dog for a league task and then feed the stray dog bones for a diary task. I forgot to mention before, so relics are unlocked by getting a certain number of points, but area are unlocked by completing a certain number of tasks, no matter what tier the tasks are. And at this point, I'm only 10 tasks away, or 9 tasks away, from unlocking the next area already. It's going by so fast. It, it always is fast at the start, but once you get like a weekend, things slow down a lot. I have Elsie tell me a story. Did you actually have to give her the tea for her to tell you the story? She took, she took my tea, I don't know if I needed to do that, but if you did, then I'm, I'm glad I stole the tea first. That wasn't on purpose. While I'm here, I'm gonna start the Daddy's Home mini quest. I was gonna slash the web in the Varrock sewer, but before I get too deep into here, I realize maybe it's not a good idea because there's probably a lot of people trying to do that. And the respawn timer for the webs kind of take a bit of time, so I don't want to wait for that. Should I do the Varrock Museum now, or should I wait uh, to get the next relic for a slightly higher multiplier? I'll just do it now. It's not gonna make that much of a difference in the long run. No way, I can't believe they added Australian people to OSRS. All done, I've corrected the mistakes. That's the best news I've had all day, and he's had a lot of people here. I'm sure he doesn't say that to just anyone. So let's get the XP drops. Instead of 1k for Slayer and Hunter, it's 8k each. So let's see what I'm boosted up to level 25 for each of those. Nice. And that's a lead task too, to do the museum. I was running by the dummies, and I guess since I'm here, I may as well just train on them. 40 attack XP per hit. You could train up to level 8. Look, I know it's a waste of time. I know the questing is going to get me up to a much higher level than 8 anyways. Yeah, you can't get XP beyond that. But you know what? I'm, I'm just having fun, okay? <laughs> I like hitting the dummy every time I make a new account. Oh wait, I should be like, yo, they added me to OSRS. This is kind of the main reason why I want to get the stronghold of security done, so I can make these planks that I'm going to need for daddy's home. I need 10 regular planks. They're 100 GP each, so that's not too bad. Oh, and that's also a league task and a diary task. And then I also have to buy five bolts of cloth, which are 650 GP each. Oh yeah, I could have just bought five. And then I also need to buy nails. It's interesting that the steel nails are cheaper than the iron nails. The wiki says to buy a hundred if you're level one construction. So they're not too expensive and I can use them later on for building stash units. And a saw con too, in case you don't get one later in the mini quest, I'm not sure. Just in case there's someone watching who doesn't know or maybe you're new to OSRS, make sure you use the quest helper plugin on Runelight for the love of Ceridomen. Please give me the hat. No. Hello again, Marlo. After a long day of construction, I guess you could say 
daddy's home. I mean, when I come back from a fishing trip in Minecraft with tropical fish for my axolotls. By doing the mini quest, you get a POH for free. So that saves 1k GP. And then that's 3.2k construction XP. And an easy lead task to purchase a POH. And that brought the construction level up to 24. And then we get this crate from Marlow, which includes house teleport tabs. And if I use one of those tabs to go into my POH, there's a leak task, enter your player own house. And then I'm gonna go into building mode. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder where the POH is since you don't have room to unlock. But yeah, this makes sense. I think it was here in the last Trailblazer. Oh man, there's a league task to build a room and there's these that cost 1k that don't really have a utility for me. But then the ones that cost 5k actually do have a utility for me, but they cost 5k and that's not really money I want to spend right now. So I'm just gonna build a garden, even though I'm gonna end up destroying it later, but there is a league task for building a room in the POH. Okay, I got this one tin rock to myself. I think, so far. I have to mine 10 tin ores total for the thing. Yeah, it looks like we're good. There's so many people here. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. Let me show you uh, the OSRS website right now. This is all-time high player counts, 181k. But yeah, the last time the player count was this high, or the, the peak it had before, that was uh, November of 2020, which was the original Trailblazer League. And that was a peak of 172k. Oh, there's the 10-10. But yeah, dude, I love this game so much. So it's really awesome to see. It makes me so happy. This game means a lot to me. 15 mining, I can now mine iron. And there's gonna be a bit of competition maybe. Or maybe not. Yep, nice. I'm gonna grab three red berries from these bushes because I'm gonna need these for later. I feel like I've been saying that a lot. There's a lot of things I'm gonna need for later. And it looks like they changed it so you could just keep on picking them. Because I remember in previous leagues, it was really annoying because you'd have to wait for them to respawn and everyone was just camping here trying to get them. You've been playing for a while. Consider taking a break from your screen. Well, Jagex, consider it considered. And I've decided not to. Uh, let's talk to Aubrey. I'm going to continue on with Rune Mysteries. Rune Mysteries is done and that is, oh that was a medium task to complete Rune Mysteries and that means one task, zero tasks. You can now unlock a new area. I'm kind of starting to get hungry and I've heard that you shouldn't make important decisions on an empty stomach so I'm going to grab a bite to eat while I ponder what area to pick. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not allowed to be a family by yourself. All right, I kind of had an idea before of which three regions I was gonna go with, but now I know for sure, especially after I picked the first region, I sort of like really need to stick with my plan. So I figured out my three regions, but I'm gonna keep them a secret. So you'll just find out my plan as I go. But the first region I'm gonna pick is Kandarin. I like the content in Kandarin, so we're gonna pick that, unlock, and you cannot undo this. Confirm, and that is the first, hello. That is the first area unlocked, or the third area, but also the first area. And then the next one is 80 tasks away, but we'll be unlocking the next relic before the next area, which is only 480 points away. It's crazy because I feel like there's still so many tasks I haven't done in the starting areas, and now I have a whole new area to do a bunch of more tasks in, so let's get started with... I don't even know. Hopefully this gets me to 3 smithing, which would be 15 boosted. Does that not update unless I... Wait, it's supposed to be plus 12. Oh, maybe it just slowly goes. Wait, if I try to make the iron now. Okay, I guess I have to wait for the timer to count down for the 60 second thing. Oh, wait, okay, there goes the 15. Uh, so let's make the iron bars. Hopefully I get th two, I need two. Please give me two. One. Oh, well, there's a leak task. There's a little bit of competition here. <laughs> I just want to get like maybe two or three iron ores. Man, I cannot compete with these steel picks. I just have to get lucky a couple times though. Oh, easy. I believe there does exist a theoretical universe where I get zero iron bars from all these ores that I mined, but it's probably not gonna happen. Yeah. I love that you get the extra supplies too that go into the bank. Why did the old man fall into the well? He didn't see that well. First time at Fossil Island, but because I used the Tool Leprechaun teleport to get here, I have to actually take the barge there. So let's quick travel. And this way, I'll get the lead task, travel to Fossil Island. I'm gonna build up the museum camp. First thing and most important thing though, I have to pet the dog. And not just because it's a lead task, I was gonna do it anyways. Let's build the bank chest, that is also a lead task. I'm not sure if it's a lead task to actually build all the stuff up here, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, dude, I don't think I've ever known about these before. There's all these iron and coal rocks here. I knew about that area with the rune rocks, but 
I, my brain must have just subconsciously always skipped over this part. And the last thing I have to build for the camp is the rival of old men. And that got me up to 39 construction, building all this stuff in the camp. The Brimhaven General Store has some pretty interesting items, especially knowing that the stock can't go down. Maybe there's some methods you can make out of bronze bars or something, but I'm here to buy a torch, 6 GP, maybe a pestle and mortar for later too. And if I light the torch, that is a lead task. And maybe I can use a light somewhere. I want to do sea slug, but for sea slug, I need 30 fire making. And to train fire making, I have to woodcut. And if I'm going to woodcut, I should probably get the best axe I can get, which is a steel axe right now for 200 GP. And now for the first time, let's head over to Kandarin at the Ardi Monastery. I don't know why, this just seems like the perfect place to train woodcutting slash fire making at at this stage. Oh, what genie. Why do I even use lamps on at this point? <laughs> Uh, what's gonna be the worst skill? I don't even know. It's probably still kind of too early to really know for sure. I'm just gonna put it on agility. Is it gonna be 80 times XP? Okay, 2500 XP. Oh, oh yeah, lead task, chop logs with a steel axe. And there's 30 fire making. That was basically just one inventory of logs and to level 300 along with it. And then the only other thing I need for sea slug is swamp paste, which I can buy 75 GP. Sea slug is done 57k fishing XP. That is exactly why I wanted to do this quest. Well, and because it's a lead task, but wait, what is the fishing level at now? 44. Nice. Oh, and it's first level 40 on the account too. That's the highest skill. I'm just going to do fishing contest while I'm at it. Only need 10 GP and a spade. Is there a thing to pick some flax? Oh, it's a diary task. May as well just spin it too. I probably could use bowstring at some point. A little bit of crafting levels or a lot of crafting levels. <laughs> oh, I remember there was a league task to feed someone a stew and now I can get a stew by just buying it from the bartender. So I'll, I'll go do that later. Another item that's going to be important later. Dude, with the fairy ring teleport, I could just teleport straight in here and get the vine, vine worm thing over here without having to run past the dogs like you would normally have to. Or maybe I'll run by them on the way back, but I'll be good. Famous last words. Wait, got run by the dog? No, we're good, yeah. I mean, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Fishing contest is done, which was a leak task, and wait, I missed the XP drop, but got us to 47 fishing. Ah, so the stew is for the strainer bank guard guy that's in the tree. Wait, the guard drops the empty bowl out of the tree after he finished it? Can I pick it up? I want to do waterfall quest and vampire slayer to get my combat stats up a bit, except I'm just a bit sketched out at doing it with uh, 10 hit points, so I'm just gonna get that up a bit. And there goes the 10 HP accounts, but I got a cape, which I need for elite task. I could just buy the cape and rock, but I saw the highwayman there and it seemed really convenient. And this is where I got the red berries and the onions for to make these dyes. See, it's all coming together now. We'll combine these together to make an orange dye, use it on the cape, and there's a league task to dye a cape orange. And to go back to pick up those bones, I'm so used to just leaving bones on the ground, but I could use prayer levels, that's for sure. Oh, reach combat level 10. If I'm just randomly cooking food in a spot like this, I'm just gonna end up with chickens in my bank because of the extras, right? Or no? Or sometimes? Um, sometimes. Sometimes you get the chicken in your bank. Okay, what, I, I'm just gonna go do waterfall. I don't need to be training combat on these guys. I keep getting distracted every time I'm trying to do something. I, I just came by here and I'm like, oh, I should do a lap of the course. There's a task to visit the tree gnome stronghold, so I assume I probably have to go out and then go back in in order for the task to be completed. Yep. And then Tree Gnome Village, there we go, visited the village. Hmm, I'm about to get six hour logged and it's 1.30 p.m. It's gonna be a good day today. It already is a good day. I'm glad I could bring the fairy mushroom in here because you can't even drop it, you have to destroy it. So first I want to get hit by the zombie. I'll run past the moss guardian. Um, I don't know, is max it? <gasps> it might be 14. So I'll just run around that way. Open. Come on. <laughs> Get hit by this guy. Oh, he didn't hit me. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is fine, this is fine. We're not hardcore, it's fine. <laughs> okay, got hit by that one and we could run. Nice, okay, we are, we have made it home safe. You can't use the Barbasalt teleport until you've done the tutorial, so I'm just gonna do that. Oh, let's skip training. And then now can I teleport? Sweet. Once I run past these fire giants, then I think I should be all good for the rest of the quest. Gotta follow the instructions very closely. Use Glarial's amulet on the statue of Glarial. I hope I did that right. I've messed this up so many times on different accounts. And then do not left click the chalice. Use Glarial's urn on the chalice. And then watch the big XP drops. 
or watch my attack and strength go up. <laughs> Got me to 50 attack and 50 strength and combat level 25. How many tasks did I get done? Combat level 25 and then achieve your first level 50. And I'm still only 13 hit points. Wait, that guy just planted flowers and then picked them. Is that a lead task to plant flowers and pick them? No, I've been lied to. When I was a kid, I didn't know what a steak was. I, I thought that was just the food steak. Um, but yeah, we're gonna fight the vampire. I do only have 13 health and three defense, but I'm hoping that the best defense is a good offense. And there we go, Vampire Slayer is complete. 38k attack XP up to 53 attack, and that was a lead task to do this quest. I kind of have a lot to edit, and I kind of want to eat a bit more too, so while I'm doing that, I'm just gonna AFK get some fishing tasks done in Catherby. I accidentally fished at the wrong spot, and I just caught an anchovy. I meant to be fishing lobsters. There we go, catch 100 lobsters. There's still more AFK fishing tasks to do, but I'm just gonna save those for later while I'm eating dinner and I have more to edit. But while I was just AFKing right now, I wrote down a long list of a bunch of tasks to do, and now I'm all refreshed and ready to go to get this next relic unlocked. I have to purposely get stung by bees. I'm gonna buy a chisel, and then remember before I got a sapphire while I was mining? Well, you need 20 crafting to chisel a sapphire. I have 16, but I have that boost from the relic, so I can cut that and get the lead task, cut a sapphire. I'm gonna have Crapperty teleport me to the essence mine that is just, oh, okay, that is an arty task and a lead task. I gotta steal a slice of chocolate cake. Okay, the regular cake was for the diary task and then chocolate slice is for the lead task. Nice, it's cool to get two things done at once like that. It's like feeding two birds with one scone. Actually, there's a, I got a thief from the silk stall. I need 20 thieving for that. So I'll thief from here for a little bit longer. There's level 20 and I just saw a heck hound door over here. I forgot about these waystones about unlocking these. You could just teleport between them. Okay, I didn't click any other one. Maybe you don't have to unlock them. Maybe they're just auto unlocked. But it's really nice this league with the teleport relics. Like I really don't have to worry about how I'm getting around. It's me from the future to inform you that you can actually just teleport to any waystone no matter where you are in the game. You could just open up the league's interface and teleport there. I'm just gonna the spam click here to thieve the silk again as a lead task and I'm also going to need that for the arty diary or wait yeah I have to sell it back to him but I have to wait a bit even though a lot of these quests may not seem like they're worth doing they are required for lead tasks and still give a bit of xp and this xp means a lot more early on than it will later and if you gotta do the lead task eventually anyways, you may as well do them as soon as you can. Although if a quest gives a lot of XP, even if you plan to pick an area that may auto-complete it later, it may still be worth doing manually if the XP is that good. Dude, 30 points away, three easy tasks away from the next relic. I did the one earlier that was get teleport to an essence mine, but this one is specifically to have Brimstale teleport you. 20 points away now. Restore five prayer points at an altar. And now on to the last task. I'm going to pick a pineapple. You've gained enough points to unlock a tier three relic. The relics before, I mean, yeah, they were pretty good, but tier three, this is where they really start to get OP. First, we got Banker's Note. This gives you an item that allows you to note and unnote items by just using it on this thing that it gives you. Or the other option, Fire Sale. Every single shop in the game that has coins as a currency, all the items are free to buy. And when you buy items, they're noted if you can note them. If they're untradeable, then they can't be noted. However, the shops won't buy them back from you for gold. But if you buy this relic, gold won't be an issue because you could just buy a bunch of dragon scimitars, for example, and elk them. Or shops that don't use GP as currency, if they have Tackle as currency, for example, you could just buy unlimited chaos runes or unlimited death runes and then sell them for Tackle and then buy unlimited onyxes that way. And while this relic is really insane, I don't think it's going to be as useful later game if you plan to play long term, which I do, because I think eventually GP won't be as important, especially because I, I have a I have a money maker plan for later on that you'll see eventually. So I'm going to go with Banker's Note. I think this one will help the most for me long term, even after maxing. Let's select that, Banker's Note, confirm, and there is the tier 3 relic unlocked. And the passive effect from tier 3 is you get last recall, or the crystal of memories. You may remember this from previous leagues. If you have this in your inventory, it remembers where you just teleported from. So if I were to teleport, or I could just use it right now. So I'll just teleport to uh, wherever with this mushroom. And this will save the exact spot where I just teleported from. So if I click teleport back, Oh wait, you can't teleport with a follower out. Okay, so if I try to use the crystal memories to teleport back, it will have saved my spot. 
and I'll be right back at the bank where I was. Oh, right. So there was the other thing about the crystal memories is that there is a cooldown which scales based on your total level. It's a six minute cooldown, but subtracts one minute for every 300 total levels. So at 1800 total, that's when there is no cooldown anymore. And getting 1800 total in the league is like basically nothing, says the guy who's playing RuneScape 16 hours a day as a job. Now, just to show you the banker's note in action, I'm going to use the logs on the notes and now I have noted willows or I could use it again on here and it unnotes them. And you could set up custom quantities by right clicking. One more thing I want to go over before we wrap up is WikiSync. You could find it in the plugin hub if you don't already have it. If you turn on the WikiSync plugin, it'll sync you up to the wiki. You go to the wiki, type in your username, do look up, and it'll show the tasks that you have done. It just auto checks them off as you go. You could hide the ones you have completed if you don't want those to be shown. And you can go to specific quest pages. It'll tell you if you have the requirements. It's really cool. I'll link in the video description both the official OSRS wiki page for Trailblazer. You could browse around that, as well as the official OSRS Leagues Discord, both of which are extremely valuable sources of information. And if you have any questions at all about the league, I can pretty much guarantee you'll find the answer in either one or the other. Now, I didn't show this before, the ranks. So a dragon rank is going to be 56k points. That's the goal that I'm going to be reaching towards. So that's going to be like, I guess, an average of 1k points per day. Yeah, because it's eight weeks. So yeah, exactly 1k points per day is what I'm going to have to average. Oh, another league task, obtain a bird's nest. I got one more snuck in for this video. I'm sorry this first video was so long. And for those of you that survived and made it this long into the video, that's actually insane. Thank you so much for spending half an hour of your time with me. I hope the video helped out in one way or another, whether it helped give you ideas of tasks to do or helped you decide on your relics or at the very least provided some entertainment, which really is my main goal. Or actually, my main goal is to make you exhale air out of your nose at a slightly higher velocity than usual. So if you did that at least one time, then mission accomplished. Or maybe you're watching this video two years in the future, so hopefully this video helped you plan for your League 6 Trailblazer 3 Reloaded 2 plan. Anyways, thank you again so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow.